Hey folks, welcome to another video. I will make this super quick because I just wanted to give a shout out to this really cool application I found like a couple of months ago, I guess, which is called DevToys. And it's basically a collection of all of those little tools that we use a lot when, when developing like and testing stuff like base64 encoding, uh, color blindness. It is, it's interesting, never tried it. But a bunch of other stuff, JSON formatter, useful JWT decoder, uh, Laurie Mipsum generator, I do it a lot. Uh, what else? A lot. UID, when I'm doing some samples, I come here to get some UID. So a bunch of stuff, it's organized in some categories. We can add to favorites, remove from favorites, add to the start menu, stuff like that. It's Windows only, at least for now. So that's the bad part, but if you are using Windows, it's really cool. So it's available on the Windows Store. You can install it from Chocolatey, and it is open source and developed with .NET. So you can also contribute if you feel like it. So give it a, a try. There is a suggestion open, maybe an issue, to make it cross-platform. Uh, because right now, from what I understood, I think it's WPF, I think. Uh, so maybe in the future they take a look at Avalonia or your new platform to make it cross-platform. It would be nice. But yeah, so far it's unfortunately Windows only. If you are using Mac or Linux, uh, at least for Mac, someone did a quick port of it. I don't know how complete or how good it is, but someone did it. Uh, and there are also other available applications. Uh, I didn't try them, so I can say if they're good or not, but I'll drop the links below. Because maybe like me, when you want to do something like this, you just go to the browser type and go to a random website. But with this, you centralize all these things and it's really interesting to have this kind of tool available. So even if you're a Mac, uh, there are options, probably better than just going through a lot of websites. Uh, and yeah, it was just that I wanted to talk about. Give this shout out and let me know in the comments. Do you did you know about this? Do you, what do you think? Do you think it's useful or not really? At least for me, I'd say it's very useful. I've been using it not a lot because I've I've been doing more some different stuff lately. But when I'm doing this kind of stuff, it's, it has been really useful. So yeah, let me know what you think about it and see you in the next one. See yes.